Hey guys, what's up? It's the Shankopotamus, and today I have some team deathmatch on radiation for you guys. And I'm using the Galil with dual mags, <coughs> and uh, that's a gun I've really been using a lot recently. And I don't know why I use it. Doesn't it really isn't that good of a gun, but it seems to suit me. And um, I'm pretty low level, so you get it at like level 20 something or so. I decided to use that, and the title of this video is "I Love My Dogs." And basically, the reason behind that, well, there's multiple reasons. Reason one is I get a buttload of kills with my dogs, and the focus of the commentary is going to be about my actual dogs in real life. I have two Basset Hounds. One of them is nine. He just turned nine. And the other one is four. So they're going to be the focus of my commentary. I'm just going to kind of tell a story about how I ended up having them. So my first dog's name is Buford. And he's nine years old. He's a best hound. Because I mean, both my dogs are best hounds, so obviously he's a best hound. But we ended up getting him back in 2004. And it was when my little brother was having a birthday party. And this was back when the whole family, extended family, like 30, 40 people would come over to my house. And it was in the summer. And my, brother, my brother's birthday is on July, oh, August 4th. I don't know what I'm saying. I don't even know what my brother's birthday is, but... My whole family was over, and this dog just wandered into our neighborhood, and we saw him, and he, kind of, he was like outside of our gate. I think my cousins and family had brought dogs over, so we were just like, okay, there's this random dog here, and I don't know why, but we decided to let him in the gate. Who knows if he had rabies or not, could have been going around, infecting the whole party, but we let him in anyway, and we could not find his owners after the party because that's what we did we let him stay for the party then afterwards we kind of we went out and looked for his owners and we couldn't find any in the houses near us we thought maybe he just escaped his house or he got out of his fence or whatever but that didn't work so we ended up staying over at our house that night and then the next day and the days after that we put up flyers at all the local places saying lost dog if this is your dog we have him or whatever so we did that that didn't work out so we're like all right so we took the we took the dog to the vet just to check him to make sure he wasn't sick or anything and the, the vet was like does he have a microchip in him and we're like all right what's a microchip and actually some dogs what they do their owners will put these microchips in them so it has all their information where they're from and all this and that and we actually found out he's from lakewood new jersey which is in South Jersey. I'm from Central Jersey. It's about an hour away from our house. We're like, wow, well, he's from well, that far away. We we're confused by it. But it turned out his owner must have abandoned him because he was originally he, his, his original owner, his first owner. He had two owners before us. I don't know if this, this is easy to follow. It's very confusing. But his first owner got rid of him because they couldn't have him anymore and they could not find a home for him so he got put on basically bass and hound death row which is awful but i don't even know how they let that go on that's what he was on and then this these people it's like it's bass and hound rescue of america or something like something like that i don't know exactly what it's called but they saved him and they found him a new home and this was his second owner the one in lakewood and the woman in lakewood that owned him basically said after a while that she couldn't keep him anymore and she arranged to return him to this guy that saves basset hounds and this meeting or whatever where he, she was going to give him back never happened and it turned out that she abandoned him so we decided to keep him actually and that's how we got my first dog Buford he has a really sad story and I, I just wasted almost the whole commentary talking about Buford but my other dog Lucy she's four she's about to turn four and she has a not interesting story at all she just we basically just got her from the local pet store so sorry Lucy's not as interesting and Buford is old now and his fatty tumors all over him which is kind of sad but um this commentary I just wasted all on Buford I'm sorry Lucy I'm not gonna give you any shout outs but I want to put some pictures up of them if I didn't already they're gonna be popping up on the screen at any time right now so yeah um sorry this series is a little bit random <laughs> so I hope you guys did enjoy this video I think it's just about wrapping up. I only need a couple more kills with my dogs. Leave in the comments if you did like this kind of video or just do a random commentary about whatever. I thought it was pretty cool, but if you guys did not think it was cool, definitely just leave in the comments. You just want to see more like gameplay based commentary, but it's kind of fun to just talk about something else other than the gameplay for once. 
So uh, I will see you guys next time. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video. And peace. I could not find out how to put the pictures over the video, so I just put them at the end here. That's my dog Buford right there. Um, pretty much enough said. He's a cool guy, I'd have to say. And I'm going to bring up a picture of Lucy now. And that right there is Lucy, another basset hound, attempting to get her to try the kneeboard with her little doggy life vest on. She did not like that very much at all. My dogs hate the water. They hate it so much. But um, again, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you next time. Peace.